Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Broken Bridge and we have April. And I kept getting the sensation where for somebody very specific, again, this could be super specific. Um, it may not be the exact time frame for everybody, but there may have been something that you tried to either get off the ground in like February to the beginning of March, or possibly there's something kind of that's been shifting during that time. And with the uh, month of April coming up, I'm getting the sense that there's something that's going to be made right for you in your life. It possibly could be about a love connection. Others of you, it's something that you've wanted that just wasn't the right time for that to happen for you. And we're going to go ahead and get some specifics to what that could be now. Um, and I'm being shown somebody kind of scratching their head in confusion. So you or someone around you here may have been feeling that there's just been some kind of unsuccessful plan. Maybe something that's just been wanting to start. I keep getting a sense to where like something has wanted to start. Something has wanted to be, you know, straightened out. Maybe something that wanted to be ironed out. Maybe a conversation to be had or a goal that you've had. Um, and at the bottom of the deck too, we did have the two of wands when I was shuffling. So if this kind of sounds like something uh, that could be for you or what you may be going through. So this just flew out when I was just shuffling now the two of cups. And I was kind of getting that sense, even though it's going to be a little bit different for all of you. But I will go in now to the specifics so I can see what spirit wants to say. But yeah, there's some kind of opportunity or possibly amending of a relationship that at one point was not the right time. And for those very specific group of you, it may have been like a month or so ago, maybe some, maybe a misunderstanding or something. And now it's like there's some kind of announcement coming in. The timing is becoming right for something and it could be in the month of April. So very soon. But let's go ahead and see then, Spirit, what would you like to expand on for this group of people who this specific message is for? And I set the intention to allow, please, for whoever this is truly for to find this reading. Um, if this is for them, may they please be guided to this reading. Yeah, and that's also what I was feeling too. I was getting a sense of like a strong level of relief coming in for somebody, almost like if you can sigh um, a sigh of relief because something finally happened or because your intuition finally came true. Yeah, you're just like you're coming out of something here and there's some relieving news coming in for somebody, something you've wanted to hear or needed to hear. Yeah. This is actually kind of funny. They're taking me back to a reading I did and I can't even remember now. It must have been probably like three months ago or something. But if anyone remembers, uh, probably not. But I was talking about how the person, it was a love story reading. And I was talking about how a person was tiptoeing and then they just started to slam, uh, like walk really loudly on the floor. It's just a reading I did and it was talking about someone wanting to become more known in your life. Yeah, I do feel like this could be someone that's about to really show up. But this feels like it's very much like um, finally happening kind of feeling or someone has been quiet about their feelings for a while and then here they come, Knight of Cups. So there's like a loudness to what's happening. There's a feeling of, again, it wasn't the right time before. I'm hearing loose ends have been tied up. So with that Wheel of Fortune, whatever that, whatever this is that has been a broken bridge, I feel like for 90% of you, this is probably a love connection. Okay, maybe 80 to 90%. Um, those kind of loose ends that didn't allow this bridge to be gapped between the two of you or for something to currently work out. Like if you're in a relationship right now, maybe it's just something specific like the location between the two of you or maybe you're trying to buy a new home, something specific for a few of you. Um, now in April is when that piece is going to make sense. Yeah, things can be worked on. So tell us the specifics then, Spirit, for whoever this is for. Um, what are the details of this message for whoever this is for? Five of Cups. What are the details for whoever this message is for? Who needs to hear this right now? Broken Bridge and April. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Moon. 
yeah this has been yeah the fool and the lovers so this is something that's ready to move like i said with the chariot here something's about ready to finally move and i feel like with the moon and the five of cups this has been again for a lot of you this feels to be possibly like a connection or a situation where there was a lot of like buried feelings with this somebody wasn't able to fully express how they feel maybe somebody had a lot of fears about this connection um, it even could have been that there were, again, like a lot of um, loose ends that were all tangled together and somebody couldn't break free or somebody couldn't get their mind right to like make a decision about this connection with you, it feels like. Um, maybe you were a part of this. Maybe there's even distance for a few of you watching. Maybe you felt like you couldn't give this person the time of day as well. But there was definitely something that felt like it just wasn't the right time. And with the fool here and, and the lovers, this is where the, the timing is becoming right and I'm being shown two people actually physically meeting. So this may be a physical encounter that will be happening very soon um, in the month of April where you will come together with this person. They will ask to meet up with you. It feels like actually for some of you, this is a really big thing. I'm being shown somebody taking your hand and kind of you going hand in hand somewhere. So again, you know, this is something where maybe the two of you couldn't be together because of outside sources maybe the two of you had to move closer to to be together just something like that where the timing is becoming better at this time where um i'm also being told too that on that same kind of note there's been a lot of working behind the scenes of the universe to bring things to light in the environment of both you and this individual, this person. So yeah, let me get a little bit more. Um, how will this person or how is the viewer going to know this is for them spirit? Any other details to what this is? I'm hearing believe in magic, believe in miracles, the page of cups and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, so, and they're showing me something spinning out of control, like there was something which was spinning completely out of control with the Five of Cups, the moon, just something that, again, whatever that is, something that didn't allow this to take place, a, a situation, a connection, which there was just too many variables to consider, there was too many obstacles, things were spinning out of control. It's like, uh, again, that spinning is coming to an end. And this actually came up yes in the reading I did yesterday, I think it was, with the Nine of Cups where there's a strong feeling of like a wish fulfillment coming in for a lot of you in the collective. Um, and I'm being shown, for some reason, spirit showing is like an elevator and you're pressing the right button and it takes you to the floor that this person is gonna be at. So it could even be like a, a timing thing, which is what I've been saying, but it could even be like a circumstantial thing too, where maybe um, you were not in the same location to meet this person, maybe, you know, again, I can't pinpoint what it is exactly, but you'll kind of know if that's for you because most likely you both wanted to kind of be together. Um, for a few of you, it could be that you're about to meet somebody that you've never met before, but the circumstances where for you to meet this person were not right because of whatever this entanglement maybe was that you were involved in. So now it's like kind of the positioning of things have shifted or in April, there's going to be a certain position kind of that you're going to be in where you kind of, you choose the right floor and then there that person is. Um, but for a lot of you, it's the first one that I already said with the broken bridge, that the connection that the two of you had, you and, and a person, wasn't the right timing because of those circumstances. So maybe you met someone and then you found out that they lived, you know, a thousand miles away from you and then maybe they just moved closer to you or something like that um yeah and spirit showed me like a math equation and how it's very satisfying when you like get the math equation right so there's something like that to where it's like the equation has we've we've cracked kind of the code here um tell me more spirit how is the viewer going to know that this is for them what other details can you give us for this I'm also being shown a bird swooping in here. Um, and for a lot of you, there is a, this is about a man, because I was seeing this before too. With the bird reference, there could be news on the way. So that's what this has been sort of about too, that there's news coming in about a man, or a man is about to deliver news to you, probably the same person here. Um,
I'm hearing I'm taking charge with the chariot. Yeah, somebody's taking charge. Somebody feels like they don't want to, they didn't want to sit and watch anymore for something to fail between the two of you or for like something to not be the right circumstances or this bridge to be broken. And they've just been sitting on this end of the bridge and watching it crumble without taking action towards it. So they've been in some kind of like swampy energy where they felt like they couldn't make amends or they felt like they couldn't take action towards you. Um, it could even be as simple or as small as like someone that you met briefly. Maybe you met someone and um, they have a crush on you or you had a crush on them, but they didn't take action towards you at the time because they felt that, you know, they had too many overwhelming responsibilities at that time. And maybe now they're coming to terms with the fact that like, I'm ready to make my move kind of, I'm ready to take action. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of that coming in and we have here the bellows. So yeah, something is about to just light up. Like we're about to take the oxygen to the flame and it's about to blow up with the nine of cups. Like it's something that's getting ready to be a big spark. Like a spark grows into a whole fire. Um, and this is for somebody who really needs to know this, that I'm hearing also your intuition has been spot on. So if this reading is for you, you intuitively knew this, okay? You've been intuitively picking up on this exact information. Um, you have been led to this reading as a confirmation of your intuition because you always knew that this would be the case or you knew that like that was something of just like it was a maybe a wrong timing with this person, but it wasn't actually about the connection. Um, tell us more detail for how the viewers are going to know that this is for them. And anything else with this message yeah and there's an excitement with this there's a strong feeling of an excitement coming in with this the lovers and the sun yeah and we have yes and i'm getting this this feeling of again like you open that for some reason i'm being shown that like you open the elevator door and then somebody is there so it's a feeling of like with that spark reference in the nine of cups there's a lot of light coming in with this it's a feeling that you've waited for Um, and again, I'm hearing something like, forget what the ego says, or I'm hearing something like your intuition and not the ego. So some of you may have been feeling this, but you've been doubting yourself because your ego has been telling you that you were wrong about this. Could also be this person too, their ego, something with the seven of wands here to where we've been, we've been too focused on like the negatives or something, or, we, or someone, someone's been too focused on the problems and not the solution here. Since I said most of you, it's like 80 to 90% is about love. But for a few of you, if this is like a work situation, I'm hearing something like the right investment or you made the right investment. That can be translated to love too. Maybe someone's realizing that when it comes to you, like you are the right investment sort of, or maybe they chose, um, I don't know. Tell us some more spirit for this reading. Who is this for? Any other details for who this reading is for specifically? Yeah, the bridge. So this is actually a very clear message in this reading. I believe this card came up in the reading yesterday too, I did for the collective. So if you watch that reading, a lot of what came up or some of what came up was about a wish fulfillment. And some of this could actually be the same connection that's bridging together. I mean, we have the bridge here, which is broken and here's the bridge repaired. So, and I'm hearing this man, for most of you, it's the man. I'm hearing something about transparent truth or honest truth. So you're about to hear the truth from somebody. I feel like you're about to hear the truth about this man or what they've always felt or what they need to say to you. Maybe even about what happened here or why the, the bridge was broken, why this bridge was not the right time. It's something where like the moon is here, which had made it difficult for this person to see clearly or for you to see beyond sort of the truth or you didn't see the truth of this or something to where it wasn't clear to you at the time. Um, and they're actually reminding me of a dream I had last night too, which I'm not going to go into like the specific details of it, but it was kind of aligned to this actually. Um, so some of you are going to be hearing the truth from somebody who has been very connected to you. And it's almost like your reality is going to show that your intuition was picking up on this. I'm being shown Sagittarius season. So I don't know what that means for you. It feels more like something happened around that time though for somebody. Anything else about this message spirit? And then I'm going to look actually into that man 
Anything else about this message here today? I'm hearing wake up call, island. Let me grab some of these uh, cards. Actually, let me get a few more tarot here. What is going on with this man or what else can you add? Well, yeah, let's look at this man. For someone specific, I'm not sure how this will relate, but they're showing me like, you know how people put their um, arm like arm and arm kind of like you um, hook the arms together. I'm being shown that, but it almost looked like an exchange of like one arm to the next arm or like one person to the next person. So for a few of you, this could be, if that resonates with you, that maybe the timing, this could be kind of maybe the timing around, let's say that you have two people or you left one situation with the five of cups and the moon and maybe like the timing for you to kind of hook arms with this other person maybe that you wanted or there was like a separation here with one person could be vice versa too maybe somebody's becoming available to sort of hook arms with you and they weren't previously uh, but let me see tell me about this man how does the man relate to the viewer in this reading And they keep showing me like transparent color or like a transparent color and white as well. It's like there's a lot of white energy around this man, like some kind of purity. How does this man relate to the viewers of the reading? The Empress. How does this man relate to the viewer? The Five of Pentacles. I'm hearing I should have kept my promise. Wow. Yeah, so that is the broken bridge. Um, this is somebody, they could be a fire sign. We have a strong fire here. They don't have to be. Could also be airy season since we have April. But this is somebody clearly with the broken bridge. They didn't keep their promise to you. Okay, so I don't know if this was recently. Um, maybe this person kind of ghosted you after a time where they promised you something with the moon here. But they feel like they have like not they've given away the key here somehow to you or, or something to where they messed up um, and again this man's having clarity okay I'm seeing them strip down to kind of the core they're having clarity about something that they should have done should have said should have acted on I'm hearing that song all by myself by Celine Dion and we have the island here. So this person could be kind of lonely, maybe. Um, maybe they're all by themselves. Maybe you are all by yourself. You could be estranged from each other. I don't know. Something where someone's sad here with the Five of Cups. So this man, it feels to be, has been sad because they have maybe made the wrong choice or they have broken the bridge with you. Maybe they burn the bridge with you. Maybe you burn the bridge with them. But something, again, about the timing where you weren't, it wasn't the right time to like hear from them or to hear the truth. Um, how does this man relate to the viewers? Let me get this other Oracle deck here. I'm hearing the song. There's a lot of messages here. I'm hearing the song by Ariana Grande, One Last Time, I think it's called. Something about one last time. So this person could be someone who didn't have they, they again they may have done something to where maybe you're not going to take them back or repair this with them but they almost feel like they want one last like chance with you or that's how they're perceiving this here like one last time um this is a this is a person and a connection which you've been very bound to i feel it doesn't have to be like in an unhealthy way it could be or it could just be in a way to where maybe you both have not been able to forget about each other yeah Tell me about this man and how does the man connect to the viewer of this reading and the information coming up today with this broken bridge in April. Yeah, they're ready to take action really is what it is. It feels like this is someone who's had this bellow kind of, they've had this fire to take some kind of action. We have busy, transformed words romanced yeah 
At the bottom we have postponed and we have forbidden. So that could be very specific. There could have been reasons to why this was a broken bridge. You know, maybe it's situations in life that you, for some reason this connection was forbidden. I can see it being very specific like that. Like for example, maybe uh, again, you were the right person for them, but they kind of let their family interfere or they let societal expectations interfere with this connection. They have been through kind of a loss here, maybe even financially. They're lonely. They're kind of in a space where they have a lot of time to think about what they've done here or what they've they've missed out on with you. And it's like, I feel this person just allowed for something else to get the best of them kind of, and they allowed this bridge or this union kind of between the two of you to not happen. Um, and they may have postponed this connection, sort of put it on the back burner even, or you did that, maybe one of you did that. Um, and with this here, again, I'm hearing, will you trust my words or something? So it's like with the transformed, this feels like someone who's coming in, definitely like, this is a very straightforward and strong message. Just take it if it's gonna resonate with you, it may not be for everyone. I think I will pull a few or I'll roll the dice a few times to give you some hints as to maybe a zodiac sign of this person, because I know this won't be for everyone. So like I was saying, your intuition has been telling you this. If this reading is for you, you have been getting intuitive downloads about this, dreams about this. Maybe you've been, um, it's like your intuition has already known this. So if you have had like zero, like if you know that it's just your mind kind of, wanting something that deep down you know is not for you then it may maybe is not for you so again this would be for someone that i don't know why i feel the need to explain that maybe it's just not going to be for a lot of people so just take take it if it truly feels like it's right in your heart not like for false hope or anything because this is a very straightforward message to me that someone is wanting to talk with you about this or they they really have changed here and there's that bird so they want to come in with like a romantic offer but Let's see. Anything else? Yeah, they've been thinking about this actually for a while, but they've been worried that they're going to say the wrong thing, though, for a while. They've been worried that the timing just has simply not been right here again. It's like they've been thinking about this for a while, and they've been putting maybe too much logic into it at times or thinking that, um, they're holding it back. They've been holding back this realization or this desire to, to make this change. They've been holding that back. Okay. Um, the tower. Let me get one last card and then I'm going to see if there's any specific details I can pick up on to give any hints or clues as to how you may know who this is. Um, is there any final message about this outcome spirit or what's going to exactly unfold with this then in April? Why is April coming up? What's going to happen in April? I am hearing this person could, I'm hearing butter you up. Um, again, I'm not really getting it's in a bad way. Let me see. Let me, let me confirm. But I do think this person is going to be communicating in April something with the words here. And it almost feels like it's like, again, they've been holding it back. Um, tell me a little bit more what's happening in April. What's going to unfold here with this? I feel like this person, yeah, they've been circling around this. It's, it's almost like they are, it's kind of like, um, like a plane that needs to land because it's time for the plane to land. Like if we don't land the plane, we're going to be late to whatever place we're going. But it's like they keep trying to land the plane, but then they go back up in the sky and then they take another five days and then they come back down and try to land the plane. And they take another couple days, you know, it's something like that on an energetic level to where they've been circling around this so much that it's draining them at this point. Um, what is the outcome here? What's going to happen in April? The sun again. Eventually they're going to do it. Eventually they're going to say something. Yeah, they've been really scared though. Eight of Swords, the Emperor. 
uh, the Ace of Cups here, the Five of Wands, the Devil. They have been possibly even like bound to something else where they felt like there was no chance with this because of whatever the forbidden thing is, whatever happened here with that. But I feel like this person is... They're coming up as an emperor, so they also could be an Aries, but I do feel like April came up. It's, it feels to me like it's very soon, so that's why April came up, but could definitely be Aries season two again coming up. But I feel like this person, the outcome here, yeah, they're going to reach a point of decisiveness. They're going to reach a point to where they have to do it. And they're also going to reach a lot of self-understanding next month in April of like what the truth is of their feelings, what the truth is of the situation guided to you. And I'm also hearing too that this person is going to be something about their words. I keep getting like they're going to speak what is that? They're going to speak more clearly or they're going to say something more forceful kind of. They're going to say something that is more impactful. What is this? Yeah, they're more assertive. This person's going to be taking an assertive and they are genuine with this. This definitely feels like it could be a twin flame connection for a lot of you, which is again why it's not going to be for a lot of people. But um, this is somebody who is ready to renew the hope with the situation. Again, I was getting face to face, so you could definitely be meeting face to face with this person or they're coming towards you in a like in person kind of way. Um, but yeah, they're going to be taking a very assertive approach with you. And like I was saying too, it could even be as simple as some of you. This has been someone that you've been dating maybe and maybe they just haven't taken the role to whatever that is, move in with you or move closer to you. So take it how it's going to fit, but this is definitely someone who's just going from kind of like this Five of Cups into this assertive emperor role. Definitely a strong masculine energy, that man that came up here, and they want to be more just genuine kind of about themselves, like in general too. They want to be a more genuine person. They want to... I feel like they've gone through a lot, that they've realized all of this. Okay, so before we go, I'm actually just going to see if I can pick up on any specifics here for the viewers to how you may know who this is, and then I'll roll the dice and then leave it there. This won't be for everyone, of course, but I just feel like some people may need an additional confirmation. So is there any specific details you can show me, Spirit, about who this person is for the viewers? How will they know that this is for their person? Yeah, so again, they're showing me there's been like a fence dividing the two of you. So this is someone either at a distance or there's been forces, again, against this connection. This is someone who you did have a misunderstanding with or you maybe you just had, you were on a different page for a while. You were on a different wavelength. Your energies were not meshing. Something was a misunderstanding here. Somebody, this person could work in the medical field for somebody. Okay, I'm getting dentist or a doctor of some kind. That won't be for everyone, of course. This person, um, they've gone through a lot of maturity. They may even be older than when you first like met them or when you maybe, you know, when you last spoke to them, maybe for some of you, or they've just gone through a lot of maturing. I feel like this person is someone who can be a bit like they had a lot going on or they even have a lot going on right now. I'm seeing someone who has many things to deal with on their plate. They're very overwhelmed with things at the moment, but they do. They could even be like someone who's a father. They could be someone who has a lot of responsibility in the workplace. Um, Something about this person wanting to be spending time with you in the home setting. So you may have possibly lived together, not for all of you, or they want to be closer in proximity is what I keep getting. Somehow they want to be closer to you in actual proximity. So maybe in the area that you live um, or just spending more time with you in person. I'm here, I'm seeing this person has a flood of emotion. It's almost like an emotional gate opens and it's like a flood of emotions open with this Ace of Cups. 
So yeah, again, it may not have been that they were ready to experience that level of love or you met in the last two months or so for one group of you and they were not ready for the intensity of what this connection would bring and they're going to reach the realization that they want to have that emotional kind of release here with this situation with you. This person does feel like they may have even told you this or they will tell you this that there's no one else kind of like you. There's no one else like you here in their life that they've met before and that they will ever connect with in that way. This person may have had somebody around them. It looks to be a, a like a woman. Um, either this is someone around them or this was like a past version of you. Honestly, I'm getting this like, I am kind of getting this like doormat energy. I don't know if it's you or not. So if that is you, you would know because maybe you used to be like that. Um, but it also may have been someone else around them that just, I don't know, they were kind of like a doormat maybe or there's someone that is maybe like not right for them around them if that's relevant for your situation. This person could wear a chain I'm seeing around their neck. It looks like something, I don't know, some, it could be a cross, it could be something. I can't tell what it is, but they may wear a chain around their neck or necklace of some kind. How will the viewer know who this is? They also could play sports for some of them. Again, with the forbidden, you both had like a very undeniable connection. There's something that you both exchanged that feeling and you probably even talked about it maybe. There's something just undeniable, undeniable about the two of you and the connection you had. Again, I'm hearing that song last one last time. So that song would definitely kind of point to me to most of you. You've known this person before and you have maybe been through cycles with them. I'm hearing, please don't shut me out. Some of you could have blocked them or you may have moved far away from them or something to where you blocked this person out intentionally or just unintentionally. They see you as someone who's very unbothered right now. You most likely have not been giving this too much attention recently. I just saw 3333. Three, three, three. Um, you probably have not been giving this person much attention, even energetically. You've really done your own thing. Okay, so that candle blew out, so I guess that's my cue. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna roll the dice and then we'll leave it there.